Hi everyone, so time for another video. Um, just a quick one. Um, in the previous video, I demonstrated how easy it is to set up um, a virtual environment for labs using a VMware Workstation. Um, if you are interested in, in doing that, then please check this video out. Uh, this video is going to be about creating uh, an IPsec VPN tunnel between two endpoints. Um, so I've used the VMware Workstation environment to spin up um, uh, London and France uh, and two Windows um, virtual machines and then I um, so they're on internal addresses London being on 10 90 90 49 and France being on 10 90 90 36 um, obviously, if you was doing this uh, in a real world scenario, it's likely that you would be using public IP addresses. So just imagine that uh, the 10.1990 addresses are being replaced with public IP addresses. Um, so here's a little bit of a topology diagram between uh, what I'm trying to achieve. So again, London, you've got port one on 10, 90, 90, 49, and uh, France 10, 90, 90, 36. Then on port two, you've got 172.16.1.0 slash 24. And on port two on France, you've got 172.16.2.0 slash 24. And both the Windows machines are on dot two in their respective um, IP space. So what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to configure an IP set VPN between them. So on the left hand side, we have got London. And on the right hand side, we have got France, we'll do them both at the same time. Uh, I think this is the easiest way. So to create an IP set VPN, you go down to VPN on both sides and IP set tunnels. Just ignore the AD VPN configuration that already exists. That's out of scope for this video. So we would simply click create new IP set tunnel. And we'll do uh, London to, to France. So doing a site to site VPN. Then there's no NAT between each of the sites. So we'll click next on both sides. So the remote IP address of the far end from London is 10.90.90.36. And the remote end from a far from France is going to be 10 40, uh, 10 40 10.90.90.49. We'll just do a pre-shared key on both sides. The pre-shared key does need to match. And click next. Get rid of LastPass. So the local interface is going to be the LAN side. So it's going to be port two on both sides. You'll see that it's automatically populated. And the remote subnet is going to be the remote uh, local subnet. So um, in my case, it's going to be 17, in London's case, it's going to be 172.16.2.0 slash 24. And on, it's going to be 1.0 slash 24. It's just the reverse. Uh, basically we're not going to share any internet access or default routes for the moment i'm going to click next and you'll see that these are the config this is the configuration that is proposed before we do that we're going to just do some ping tests so uh can, Lo can uh, london ping france currently two dot two it can and can France ping London one seven two sixteen one dot two. It can't just leave these pings going. Actually, I think oh, let me expand that out. Yeah. Okay. So we go back to the gates. We click create on both sides. Go back over to IP set tunnel. You'll see that the it's um, 
the green up arrow indicates that traffic is up. So this has created the IP set VPN configuration for you. Um, you'll see you've got the parameters that have been created. Okay, and it also has created the firewall policies for you. So London, if I spell France right, but I'm not going to go back and mess with that now. Got London to France, and then you should also have port two to France. These two ones, these two policies here that we're talking about. There you go. That one and that one. Those policies are the ones that it has created. And then if we go back to the Windows appliance, you should see that they can now ping each other. So London can ping France. France can ping London. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot the virtual machine over in London just to prove the point. So France should stop being able to ping appliance so this device is rebooting and you can see it can no longer ping the far side so i think that uh, brings the video to a close so we've just uh, quickly configured uh, an ip set vpn or a site-to-site -site vpn as it's commonly known between uh, london and france uh, using the VPN configurator, configuration orchestrator uh, just to sh show how simple it really is because I do get a lot of questions around uh, IPsec. In the next stage of videos, we'll probably look at uh, IPsec VPN behind NAT, overlapping subnets on both sides, and troubleshooting IPsec VPN. So um, if you want to get notified of um, when those videos go live, then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Uh, until then, see you in the next video.